We are here with David Yonkai from the Lubak Political Letter, and we are looking forward to the very first presidential debate a little later this month. Great having you back, David. Happy to see you. I kept on missing you when you were I in the know. morning, so I'm glad to be here. I was all over the place, but it's so good to be back. Yep. And um, the upcoming presidential debate, there has been so much talk about it. And as an experienced panel member on various debates, both on TV and at different events, what do you think needs to be done with this debate? Do you think it's going to be your traditional run-of-the-mill debate? I don't think it's going to be a traditional run of the run of the mill debate at all, mainly because you have two candidates who basically are, what shall I say, very familiar to the American people. And you know what they say about familiarity, it breeds contempt. And I think that the key to the two candidates is to make sure that they be the least contemptible of the two. So that is the real contest you're saying. Now, what do you think that the candidates each need to do to win? Is it the same thing, different? Well, I think that Donald Trump needs to be very specific in what he's saying to the American people. And I think Hillary Clinton needs to take off her candidate hat and put her lawyer hat on. She, may, she needs to make sure that, well, first off, people know Hillary Clinton knows a lot, okay? She's very uh, up on the issues and she's been around for a long time. Her task is to not let people know how much she knows. Her task is to tell people how much Trump doesn't know. That's her task in actually putting that together. Okay, now when it comes to the debate moderator, do you think uh, there should be a special kind of person chosen? What's your take on this? Well, it has to be a broadcaster. It has okay. to be somebody who is, you know, uh, going through the motions in terms of hearing everything that's going on on the uh, screen, taking uh, screen direction and things like that. It has to be somebody who really um, is, it could moderate a debate. And But see, the thing is, if you have a nationally um, broadcast uh, moderator, um, George Stephanopoulos has had relationships with the Clinton people. Um, you know, Clinton, uh, or um, uh, Trump had the um, uh, issue with Megyn Kelly. So I think you're going to have people who are going to be immediately disqualified. Because they're going to be immediately disqualified, you're going to have to have a moderator who basically might be a blank slate. I'm thinking it might be Mark, Martha the Raditz, who basically has been through wars, and I mean, I think she could handle them, or maybe Lester Holt. Okay, so someone who, at least to the candidate's perception and, and the view of the audience, they need to be unbiased when right. it comes to this. I would like to see maybe them pick a local person, like throughout one of them, and national anchors, instead of having like a national person, have somebody who's like a local anchor in a big city, or even a market like this, because they're talking about populism, right. and they're talking about, you know, an untraditional thing. Why not have somebody who's a national blank slate and have them moderate the debate? And they do say whoever wins Pennsylvania is likely going to win the presidential race as well. Right. Pennsylvania so. and Ohio, those are the two keys. All right, so given what you know about the candidates and their debate prep, do you have any predictions on a winner? Here's what's going to happen. The people who are for Trump are going to think Trump won. The people who think who like Hillary think Hillary's going to win. So there's going to be like maybe 10% of the people who are going to have to make a decision on that during that debate. I see I see it as, a, and no matter what happens, it's going to be a tie. Okay, so you're saying that the people who are gung-ho about their candidate, they're still going to think no matter what. So really this debate is for the independents and the 10% of people who still haven't yet made up their mind. Exactly, and Facebook is going to explode <laughs> the day after, so it's going to be one of those. That'll, so yeah, social media certainly will be a place to watch. And if you want to get a little bit more in-depth analysis, maybe a less spouting off of opinions, David. Um, you are now going on your 10th year of the LULAC yes. Political Letter. Yep. Congratulations. Yep, we're at lulacpoliticalletter.blogspot.com. Okay, well, David Yonkai, always great analysis. Thank you so much for joining us Happy today. Happy to be here. Thank you.